She used to wipe over socks for varicose veins that do not cover the toes, as if wiping over khuffain. What is the ruling on her prayer? Praise be to Allah. Firstly, with regard to wiping over the khuffain or socks, it is stipulated that the socks should cover the place that must be washed, and the place that must be washed goes from the ends of the toes to the ankles. Ibn Qudama rahmatullah alayhi, said, it is permissible to wipe over the khuffain and the likes if it covers the place that must be washed. If any part of the place that must be washed is not covered, then it is not permissible to wipe over it. Shaykh Abdul Aziz ibn Baz alayhi, said, It is not allowed to wipe over the socks and so on unless the conditions stipulated in Sharia are met, one of which is that the socks should cover the place that must be washed. Based on that, the socks mentioned in the question do not come under the, the ruling on wiping over the khufain because they do not cover the place that must be washed. But if the sick person needs to wear them and it is difficult for him to take them off every time he does wudu, then he may do wudu before putting them on and then put over them socks that cover properly. Then, when he needs to do wudu, he can wipe over the socks that are covering them until he takes them off or the period during which wiping over the socks is, is permissible ends. This is something acceptable and there is nothing wrong with it. If he is not able to do that and taking off the medical sock is something that will cause him harm or delay his recovery, then it comes under the same ruling as plaster casts. He may wipe over the entire thing top and bottom, and this is one of the differences between wiping over plaster casts and wiping over the khufain. The entire cast should be wiped, whereas only the top of the khufain is wiped and the uncovered part of the foot should be washed. Secondly, what your mother should have done was ask about what was required in that situation. The fact that she did not ask indicates that she was careless. We ask Allah to forgive her. With regard to making up the prayers that she offered in that situation, the scholars, may Allah have mercy on them, differed concerning that. Some of the scholars say that the prayers must be made up and some say that it is not obligatory to do that. If she wants to be on the safe side and make up the prayers that she offered with that will do, that will be better. If it, is, if it is too difficult for her to do that or the days on which she offered prayers in that state were many, then she may be excused for not knowing if she thought that what she was doing was correct and it did not occur to her to ask about it. In that case, she does not have to repeat them according to the more correct of the two scholarly opinions and Allah knows best.